let's move a little bit ahead and uh, you know uh, let's uh, review some uh, financial reports that netsuite offers out of the box so to review reports again you know you have to go in reports you have your financial tab over here go in financials and these are all the standard financial reports that netsuite offers so i'm going to open a couple of important ones like income statement balance sheet maybe you know trial balance okay so this is my income statement uh let me just change my accounting preferences really quick this is based on cash basis remember this is the cash basis account uh, income statement i don't want to see cash basis so what i will do is i'll go in my accounting preferences again i'm going to change this to non cash basis reporting All right, I'm gonna refresh this report again. And notice that cash basis is now removed. So I don't want it to see my income statement based on cash basis. All right, I'm gonna select the period. So this is basically the income statement that shows you the profitability of your organization. And uh, you select the period here. So let's say I wanna see my income statement from 1st of January, 2021 to October 2021. So I'm gonna select my period over here in the date range. I'm gonna refresh this. And notice that automatically, you know, the balances would change. I'm gonna select my subsidiary, let's say, you know, GTS Corp consolidated. Okay. So these are all filtered options that you have in the bottom line, right? You have the period, you have the subsidiary, and uh, you know you also have the column totals as well so based on whatever filters you choose your data would be reflected accordingly so let's say if i want to see my balances for anz subsidiary so i can select anz and you know automatically the balances would be reflected accordingly so you have all these filter options automatically available in front of you i'm gonna select refresh all right now what you can also do with this uh, income statement let's say you know if you want to see a different uh, dimensions uh, i can remember you know we classified information by uh, by department classes and location right uh, so if you want to see yes. that data you know by department class so here you have this total select class over here in the columns and refresh this And notice now your complete income statement is is you know uh, segregated by classes, and by classes you can see your profitability now. I know this is not yes. a very beautiful format because we have a lot of classes over here, but based on the classes that you have opened in NetSuite, you will see all your complete profitability by classes now. So you know this is this is like a, a, a blessing in disguise for all the accounting people where they have to you know review the accounting state or income statements by different dimensions as they have to prepare it in Excel and, you know, use pivot tools and all that stuff. But here, based on a single click, I can, you know, just, just change my overall uh, uh, visualization of my report. Let's say I want to see this by department. I can select department now and reset. Notice that I can see now my profitability, my revenue, my expenses by department. So you see this, this admin department. So if I want to see how much you know uh, expenses this department is incurring, I can see all that stuff you know now in in in, in just one picture in front of me, and I can see you know what is the the loss or profit that this department is making. So and again, this is this is this is all happening because I classified my transaction by department. I entered department on my transaction and based on that, you know, it's showing up on my uh, income statement now. So now does this make sense? Yes. Why we use classifications? Because it gives you the complete, you know, uh, dimensional reporting option in NetSuite. And also if you want to see this by location, Correct. you can do that by location. You can also do this by accounting period. So if I want to, you know, do a comparative analysis, I can select accounting period and I can refresh this.
-hmm. And now you will notice that instead of uh, location department class, I can now see my balances by period. So Jan, Feb, March. So if, if I need to do a comparative analysis, I can select uh, my accounting period in the column total. Yes. Is it? All right. And, and the best part is like if you want to go into further detail, let's say I want to see uh, 4230 detailed report, I can click on this. And you will see these are the transactions that is actually making up the balance. And when I further click on this, any particular document, or let's say this one. So it's actually going to take me to the income uh, to the actual transaction. Yes. So, so you have this, uh, you know, uh, drillability feature available in NetSuite, where from the report you can actually go on the on the source transaction. So, so yeah, these are certain features that we have, and uh, you know, same same features we have on the balance sheet as well. So you know, you can select your balance sheet, select your you know, subsidiary, you have the column total, so you can, you know, see your balance sheet by department, location, class, just like we, you know, uh, saw an income statement. But at this point, point, you know, I would just like to also, uh, you know, show you some extra features of, of, of the NetSuite reporting tool. So notice here at the right corner, you have multiple options. You can expand and collapse your report. Yes. So I can just collapse this report as well. If I want to see a very summarized view, if I want to expand this, I can start clicking on expansion and it's going to show me, you know, by parent department, by parents, and then, you know, finally. So remember, you know, the type that we selected on the account type when we were creating GL account. So this is right now, you know, based yes. on, the, on the type. And if I click on further yes. collapse, now this is going to be by parent and child as well. So this is, this is how, you know, it is all reflected in your financial reports. You mm -hmm. also have the ability to export this in Excel. You see this right in yes. the top uh, bottom corner. You can export this in yeah, Excel. Yeah, can you, you, can, you can export this in PDF. You can export this in CSV or in Word as well. You can print this report yes. directly from NetSuite. You can email this report. When you click on email, you can directly email it. Yes. So I can select my recipient and I can you know give a message. If there is any additional attachments that I want to do, I can do that and right away, you know, send an email from NetSuite to the relevant person in the organization. So you have this email mm -hmm. feature as well. And you can also schedule this report. You have this option schedule. When you click on that, you can give a schedule name that this is a balance sheet report schedule that I'm making. You can select the date. Uh, if you want to do this on, uh, you know, uh, multiple frequency, you can select run report more than once and set the, the reoccurrence period of this. So let's say, you know, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever, and, you know, select the start at date, end date, and recipients, message, everything. So consider like this is a very important report and your management needs to have this report on daily or, you know, weekly basis. So you can also schedule this report rather than you know doing it manually all the time. So so these are some, some features that NetSuite offers out of the box to to have a better user experience and to ease the life of the data entry users. So yeah, I mean mm. these are certain features that you get out of the box on all the reports. And then you have the trial balance yes. report, so you can always you know get your trial balance report. Uh, but again, I would highly recommend you to always go in reports, financials review all the standard out of the box reports that NetSuite offers. If you're not sure about any particular report, you can always click on help and it's gonna give you the complete, you know, description of that particular uh, NetSuite report as well. So now you can, you know, read uh, uh, about this balance sheet report.